Hello and welcome to Oil Brushes on Painter 2022, an overview tutorial. I am Isa Souza, one of Painter's Elite Masters, and I hope this video will be helpful and joyful to you. So who can benefit from this video? Artists who are new to Painter, artists who would like to start using digital oil brushes but don't have experience, and artists who already work with Painter and have just installed Painter 2022. In this edition of the software, there is a new concept for the brush library. It has been through a great reform and it's much more streamlined. There are new categories of brushes, obsolete brushes have been removed, and new, cool, interesting tools and media have been added to the existing sets, and some new functions have been added to this part as well. Besides the new streamlined brush library, there has been some great layer improvements as well as a couple of new compositing modes added. There are lots more of cool stuff to this edition, so if you haven't upgraded to Painter 2022, I highly recommend that you do so. In my personal opinion, this is one of the best editions. Alright, so let's get started. We will cover 1. How to locate the oil brushes and what's the difference between these categories. 2. Main attributes and basic qualities and settings for the brushes. 3. Extra options to use and customize your brushes. So let's go to our first topic. How to locate the oil brushes and what's the difference between the categories. So when you first open the program, you see a brush icon to the top left. Clicking on that icon will make the library appear. On the left column, we see the brush categories in alphabetical order, and on the column to the right, you see the brush variants available. So on the categories, when we come to the letter O, we spot the four oil categories. Artists, Bravura, General, and Real Wet. But there is a category called Sergeant, which also have brushes that are oily or have some oil qualities, and that's why I consider it the fifth oils category on Painter. So why is Sergeant placed separately on the categories list? Because on this set we have brushes that, besides the oils quality, they also have combined qualities of other media such as ink, pastels and even charcoal. So this category has also a strong liquid quality to many of the brushes. So it is something of its own, and personally, it's one of my top favorite categories. So now let's go to the difference between these five categories. On artists, we encounter more basic artist brushes, such as bristles, filbert, flat or round, also some brushes that have some blender functions. Most of these are highly close to what you can do with a real brush in traditional technique. Here the brushes are loaded and wet in general. They have a balanced level of saturation and the luminosity has a more wet look, as the category name suggests. Bravura is a new category and we have a log line for it. Discover a powerful expression of style in a single stroke with these sophisticated new brushes. Here we have different and complementary qualities to artists, combined with brush depths that are a bit more expressive and taking us to apply drier techniques as contrast to the wet looks of the artists. Some of these brushes have also blended functions. Because we have a drier look to these tools, the colors are less vibrant and more opaque and luminosity is slightly turned down. As you would expect of drier or less loaded styles of techniques. On a general category, what is unique about this set? The brushes are built to give you a beautiful balance between expression together with the signature of different techniques. Hence that I said techniques and not brush, as dab and tool attributes are more expressive than the traditional brushes you will find on an artist set. This category has an overall impressionistic quality. Here, the colors have a greater luminosity and vibrancy than on artists, heightening their beauty. We come to Real Wet. This is an interesting category. The name Real Wet do not refer to the loaded and wet quality that we have on the artist set or brushes in the general or sergeant categories. Painter has several brush categories where 
the wet in factory fairs to watered or washed techniques. And this is one of them. So if you like playing with washes, this is um, going to be your playground. This takes the phrase watching paint dry to a whole new context of fun. There are also effect brushes such as the erosion and a turpentine that you can use to add extra touches to your artworks. Here the colors will have the same level of luminosity as on a general set, but an overall more opaque aspect once they are dry. Now we go to Sargent, a popular category that is not labeled together with the other four oil categories, but where we have several tools with oily or oils quality. As I mentioned previously, the reason it is on its own is that it also has brushes that take um, that take us to media like charcoal, such as the grainy smear, where we combine charcoal with oil quality, and ink, such as the link sketcher, and even something like oil pastel, such as the oily water, among others. So this hat has an overall liquid quality to its media. They are very expressive and can be single-used or combined to achieve distinct techniques. The luminosity varies from brush to brush, most of them will be more luminous and vibrant, like the general category, but a few of them will have a more opaque, more saturated or have lower luminosity, as um, they emulate a mix of different media. Now that you know the difference between these sets, let's talk about the main attributes or basic qualities and settings for the overall oil brushes across these five categories. So let's go by parts, as said our friend Jack the Ripper. Size and opacity are two settings present for all brushes in the library. Size does matter in some brushes, as in bigger sizes you can have better view of the dab and brush stroke expression, so experiment with very large to very um, small brush strokes on your artworks for a more enriching experience. Apart from size and opacity, the other settings like blend, grain, feature, resaturation, bleed will not appear on all brushes. They will alternate in combination and be or not be present for each tool. This means that you will have to experiment with each brush and pay attention to the top bar setting options. So let's talk about these settings. Blendability is the most remarkable feature of all oil brushes and oily media. This is the single quality that makes the traditional media characteristic looks, application and base for most of its techniques, from where Painter is heavily based to bring you these features in digital format. You can experiment and control with blendability aspect using different tools. 1. On a media area at the upper menu, you have the blend option. You can experiment and regulate it at each brush stroke or specific areas of your artwork. 2. Some brushes have the resaturation option. It controls the amount of paint replenished in a brush stroke. This will blend colors as well as give the brush stroke a nice fading effect. The level or threshold of resaturation will vary from tool to tool. For example, in some brushes you will need to lower the value or percentage much more to have the same effect. Bleed. This is a tool that, in some cases, you may control parallel to resaturation. Bleed is about how much of the underlying color you are going to blend with near brush strokes. The higher the blend setting and the lower the resaturation, the more underlying color you blend or bleed. And there is yet another way or aspect to blending your brush strokes with underlying colors. When you go on the layers upper menu, you can click on pick up underlying color. And you can deactivate that if you no longer wish to blend the brush strokes by simply clicking the button again. Then we have other settings such as grain, as the name suggests, it will adjust the grain quality on your brush strokes, as in the examples here. Um, the oils category, they don't have very, very grainy qualities, but you get the picture. Painter have different brushes uh, on different categories where the grainy aspect will be much more accentuated. Feature. It will adjust the number of bristles in your oil brush. On other brush categories, you, um, in some brushes, you will also have the feature option, but it will work in very different aspects and effects. Here, for example, on the oily field blurt, you will see that 
um, increasing or decreasing the feature will affect on the density of its bristles. So here you are, you just have learned some basic qualities and settings for oil brushes across all of these five categories. If you like the settings you've just added to your brushes, you can also save it. Right click on the tools preview on the brush library, choose the option save variant. I will suggest you save it with a different name so you have both the default option and your new variant available easily. There are many more options and advanced settings, but this may be for another time. So last but not least, there are still some extra options to experiment and play with your oil brushes as well, um, to give it uh, some extra personal touch to your artistic expression. If you go to Windows, Brush Shape, Captured, you will see a lot of extra dabs that you can choose for your brush. Let's use the Sergeant brush as an example. Look at these dab variations. How cool is it, huh? When you no longer want to use the dab, just click reset at the top bar and the brush will go back to its default. I hope this overview of the oil brushes has been helpful and fun to you. Now my last tip is, take your time to try the 69 brushes. Thank you so much for watching and bye bye!